Good day. Let's welcome Mr. Pavel Wiles, the Assistant General Manager at National Commercial Bank, Jamaica. Uh, Pavel has been in the industry for more than 15 years now and has been instrumental in providing new technologies to the bank to catapult it to the next level. And Pavel has been on the cutting edge of embracing new technologies and implementing it in the bank throughout. Welcome, Pavel. Welcome to the group discussion. My name is Ritesh. I'm responsible for uh, the consulting practice within Nugen. But it's a very, very interesting discussion that we're going to have today. Thank you, Pavel, for joining in. Thank you, Ritesh. So, Pavel, I understand that uh, Jamaica and the Caribbean market as such is on the cusp of real transformation. Where do you see it to be going in the times to come? Thanks for the introduction, Tesh, and glad to be here. Um, since 2021, the, the digital trend has accelerated exponentially, and more businesses are now digitally enabled in one form or another. Um, businesses online are in helping to encourage digital literacy and financial inclusion. There's also the trend of supporting industries and policies adapting to the demand and responding by becoming efficient digitally to reduce the friction of onboarding to both handle the demand and encourage persons. This is helping persons to become digitally enabled and be part of the digital ecosystem. Uh, the vast majority of online businesses are in the small and medium sector which is a positive sign for both the future of growth because they're innovating to achieve growth and are creating capacity for the knowledge industry. Prior to ML and AI, they were able to get to market quickly and scale using the technology available. However, now through the accessibility of machine learning and AI, these businesses have the tools necessary to achieve greater efficiency that could previously only be achieved by much larger advanced companies. Um, additionally, investment in talent locally with support by the government and also private institutions has been spurring overseas investments within uh, the Caribbean. So I'm seeing greater global integration within the Caribbean. This is, this is really encouraging, Pavel. In fact, if you look at it, digital seems to be the new new mantra for success everywhere. I think this is something that everyone has to follow. And COVID was a great initiator or a push towards digital at an overall level. But at one end, you have the new age banks, which are digital and are really going fast. And at the other end, there have been the traditional banks like NCB and uh, others who have been working on it continuously. So what are the ways and methods that you're adopting within NCB in order to kind of stay ahead of the times and gear up for the digital inclusion or the financial inclusion and the SME sector that you just talked about? Sure. Uh, so banking institutions are all on the path to becoming digitally enabled in all the things they do. Um, there is a general reduction in the reliance on physical branches and physical locations and a move towards servicing the customer where they are. That is, you know, whether they're on the go, um, mobile or at home. Culturally, <clears throat> the dependence on these branches in the traditional manner is slowly going away. In order to adapt, banking operations have to be as efficient as possible to keep costs low for both the customers as well as the bank. Banking services have to be as flexible and accommodating to keep the customer engaged and satisfied. NCB specifically, um, we were able to recognize this shift early and direct investments towards that effort. Our efforts um, are also multifaceted. Yeah, one, we have a duty to provide the necessary reels for our customers in a reliable and cost-effective manner. Two, um, we, we have to listen to our customers and provide good customer service. And thirdly, 
we are committed to remaining agile and being at the forefront of technology to provide more value to our customers and defending against increased competition. Absolutely. In fact, if you look at it, um, banks are no longer transitioning. They are transforming at the end of the day. And many technologies are playing a very, very important role. So humans also need to adapt to it and work towards the technologies. What's your take on it? Well, how do you see it to be coming and what technologies do you think would be working on it? Yeah. So I think on the technology side of things, um, the ability to facilitate more real-time transaction processing is spurring the need for AI to help in that respect, help in fraud detection and risk management. On the people side of things, there's a need for roles to adapt and evolve towards data science to meet the needs and demands of customers. There is a reduction in the dependence on persons doing certain tasks due to customer demand. And that is customers expect immediate response and immediate facilitation of their issues, as well as increased transaction volumes and the need to lower costs. As a result, Technology is put in place to help in that role, and humans are expected to analyze and make higher level decisioning to guide these workflows and processes. Absolutely. In fact, we at NewGen also believe in the similar concept. So there are three pillars that we actually talk about. One is the customer experience, the one that you talked about saying that customers have to be kind of responded to as early as possible and in the right context. Uh, what we also believe is that operations is an integral part to provide this experience to the customer. So the other pillar that we talk about is operational efficiency. And while we are doing this, business has to continuously evolve. Businesses have to innovate continuously. And that's what you talked about AI and ML. So uh, we also believe in similar concepts. but. Uh, uh, have you actually looked at segregating business this ways or technology this ways and then looked at the tool set in a similar way? Yes, so I think fundamentally banking products have not changed in a very long time, right? So your savings accounts, your checking accounts, their, their loans, etc. right? So on the, the fundamental level, um, banking products are the same. Um, however, um, innovation on the, how these products and services um, help to enhance people's daily lives to ultimately solve their needs is where the innovation um, is and needs to be. The delivery mechanism and embeddedness will be a key role in providing good customer experience. The ability to do this efficiently is also key for financial companies and therefore the need to focus on operational excellence during the digital transformation. As we progress towards the future, the needs and expectations of customers also evolve. No longer do they expect just the basics, but higher order needs become the baseline. For example, being able to now be the master of how their life operates becomes more important. So personal financial management and automating tasks are also important. Right, in fact, uh, what we also believe is that hyper-automation in today's times would be the key to success. Hyper-automation for us is not just about uh, implementing it quickly, but it's also implementing it for change, implementing it or building it for uh, enterprise-wide rollout and things like that. So for, for your bank or for the Caribbean market as such, what role do you think hyper automation would play in order to take it to the next level. Sure. Um, so I think neobanks have the opportunity to embed certain technologies at a faster pace and at a lower cost compared to traditional banks. Technology implementations in the banking space has to consider all customers. Traditional banks typically have existing customers going back many years and therefore there's a need to provide as little disruption to them as possible so that they can be migrated to a new way of doing business. 
New banks typically have greenfield customers or digital new customers that provides a slight advantage and an easier way to implement in a cost-effective manner. This allows them to have a greater ability to, you know, for example, experiment with new technology and services. Traditional banks te typically have a lot of legacy systems and um, may have some challenges either integrating those, ne ne those, those legacy systems with new technology um, or uh, may have to abandon it completely. The last one, Pavel, the UJN is very proud to have relationship with NCBJ for over a decade. And uh, how do you see the strategic partnership to be going forward in terms of things that we can do together to transform and then take NCBJ uh, to the new heights. Sure. So, New Gen is a company with significant development resources, and we see them helping us to innovate and provide high quality solutions quickly for our customers. As our business needs continue to evolve, um, we need partners where, who are on our journey and understand our needs and work with us to achieve our goals. We have needs that span across legal and regulatory compliance, local and regional market integration needs, as well as operational excellence needs. NewGen has the ability to assist us in all these areas with their platforms, development resources, and global industry knowledge. Thank you, thank you, Pavel. And we are really, really proud of the relationship that we have with yourself and the bank and uh, we would like to see NCBJ climb new heights in this digital world and we are all for it to kind of provide all the support that is required in order to transform. Thanks a lot for being here today, Pavel. We appreciate your time and it was an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you, Ritesh. Thanks to your team.